conservation of momentum. We have M1 and M2 moving towards each other. M1 is equal to 5 kg, M2 is equal to 5 kg. Velocity of the first object before collision is positive 12. That means it is moving to the right. Velocity of the second object before collision is negative 12. That means it is moving to the left. So 5, 12, 5, negative 12. Equal masses M1 and M2 move towards each other, collide and stick together after collision. What is the speed after collision? Assume perfectly inelastic collision. Welcome to httvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. For an isolated system consisting of masses M1 and M2, vector sum of momentum before collision equals vector sum of momentum after collision. As applied to our problem, we have momentum, momentum, incoming momentum of M1 and M2, and that is equal to what happens after collision, the masses combine. What is the momentum of M1? 5 kg times 12 is 60 kg meter per second. What is the momentum of the second mass? It is 5 times negative 12. Why negative 12? It is moving to the left. So 5 kg times negative 12. So you have negative 60 kg meter per second. What is the total mass after collision? 5 plus 5. And then they move with speed V final. The momentum of M1 before collision is 60. The momentum of M2 before collision is negative 60. And what happens to the total mass? 5 plus 5 times V final. So what happens? 60 minus 60 is 0. And 0 divided by anything is 0. So you get the final speed to be equal to 0. And you get 60 minus 60 is equal to 10 V final. Divide both sides by 10. And 0 divided by 10. And that is 0. So the final speed is 0. So what happens? The system comes to a halt. After collision, masses come to a stop. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.